hello and welcome back to the homestead. I'd like to make a signature recipe that I've been working on for a little bit. It's called pizza tramzoni. Um, there's three components that I make homemade that you wouldn't necessarily have to. Are the pizza sauce, the Italian sausage, and then the bread dough. And you wouldn't necessarily have to make any of those. You could purchase your pizza sauce, you could purchase Italian sausage, and you could purchase frozen bread dough. So. It's the night before and I'd like to have this pizza sauce to be able to kind of meld, spices to dissolve and the flavors to develop overnight and the same holds true for the Italian sausage. So I'm going to whip those up and get them in the refrigerator. Here we go. This is six ounces of tomato paste. I'm going to be adding oregano, ground scapes and some garlic herb salt. I have a couple cloves of garlic and some fresh basil from the garden. I'm going to add just a couple tablespoons of ketchup for a little bit of sweetener. And there you go, you have a really nice pizza sauce. Put a lid on that and we will cover it and let it rest overnight. Next up is Italian sausage. Now I like to make my own Italian sausage because I can control the fat content and the amount of salt. There's no preservatives or colorings or things that I don't want in it. And the texture is wonderful. You don't get bits of things in there that you can't chew. You can customize the flavor to my liking, much like I did um, for the breakfast sausage that I use in my biscuits and gravy. Okay, for two pounds of ground pork, I'm gonna add two teaspoons of salt. I have ground fennel, ground caraway, red pepper flakes, a teaspoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of coriander, and a quarter teaspoon of white pepper. Now to help these spices incorporate into the pork, we'll add just a couple tablespoons of cold water. Massage all this in. You can kind of feel the texture of the sausage get sticky. The texture just changes as you massage it. Okay, that's it. There you go. Now, in this next series of clips, you're going to see me brown the um, homemade Italian sausage and just a little bit of ghee. This sausage is very lean, so the ghee does help to brown it. And while the sausage is browning, I prepare some of the other vegetables I'm going to use in this pizza tramzoni. And after the sausage is browned, I will put the mushrooms in the pan and cook off the water on the mushrooms. As you know, mushrooms have a lot of water in them and we don't want a soggy tramzoni. So I will cook the liquid or the water off of the mushrooms. And uh, the peppers and the onions will go into the tramzoni raw because I want just a little bit of a crunch to them in the end result. So I'm not going to saute them. And then after I get all the ingredients for the filling mixed together, you'll see me assemble the tramzoni. Now I have made quite a few batches of tramzoni as I've been developing this recipe. And I encourage you to watch the other videos that I've posted in the Tramzoni playlist because I have learned a few tips and tricks along the way that make assembling these Tramzoni just a little bit easier.
Donzoni's. I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator for about 45 minutes before I bake them, get my dishes done, get a little salad put together, and then we'll pop these bad boys in the oven. Aren't they beautiful? Must be just about food, huh? Well, we have to rest a little bit, maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but close. 